Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, tutorial where I will show you the uh, how to work with the module module uh, doing meta tags. This module was uh, recently ported to uh, Drupal 8. It's uh, mostly developed and works better for Drupal 7, but they have a functional version for uh, Drupal 8, which I'm going to show you today. First, let's navigate to the extent tab. In here, we can see all the modules that we've installed. If we do a click quick search of meta, we will see the freshly installed module called MetaTag and MetaTag OpenGraph. OpenGraph is more advanced. We will not go into too much detail, but briefly go over this. This is mostly for social media sites such as Facebook, Pinterest, etc. All right. Let's go to the configuration page. Scroll down, find the meta tag section under search and metadata. All right, in here we have our main panel. Here you can choose which sites, specific sites, or if you just want to do the global settings. We're going to do the global settings just to get an overview. Other than that, you can do the four hundred four page not found, do it for content, front page, etc. So click edit. All right, on here, first we have the uh, basic node, which is for page title, quick description, and an abstract. Uh, in the bottom here, we have keywords, which everything in this module is very well explained already. It's self-explanatory. There's a little snippet for help underneath every box, so you can't possibly not know what you're editing, which is really helpful. But um, first off, we have the site uh, colon name. Basically what this does is, once it's saved, it will load the website, and the title in your fan and in your bookmarks will be the name of the site, which in this case is Stompbox Gaming. Other than that, we have the description. This is uh, very useful because if you do a Google search and your website lands on, lands on one of the uh, as one of the top results or whatever, you can see the actual description of the site underneath the name. This is good for giving a quick, brief overview of what the website is about. Um, whereas the next snippet here is the abstract, and that is more for that is more for the actual content of the website to let the users and searchers know exactly what they ex can expect to find on your website. And in this case, we have Stompbox Gaming is a gaming uh, website made by gamers for gamers description. And then we have, well, you can find gaming news, hardware reviews, etc. on this page. Ideally, you would want to write perhaps just a bit more. Um, but this will suffice for now. Other than that, we have keywords. Don't have a whole lot, but this is just an example. We have Stompbox Gaming, gaming reviews, games, video games, etc. Et you can keep building more onto this. It works exactly like tags for your articles and pages and other content. You just separate them, them, them by comments. Alright. After that, we have the advanced tab. We will not cover this as much, but we will have a look at at, uh, at this page. You can do specific um, requests for specific specific robots for specific search engines, such as Yahoo Search. You can uh, do a lot of stuff on this page. It's uh, it's very nice. Canonical URL for the uh, to eliminate duplicate uh, content for search engines. Content language. There's a lot of options here. After that, we have the Open Graph Meta Tags, which is the uh, extra plugin that we had with uh, the Meta Tags we saw in the Extent tab. This is mostly made for Facebook, Pinterest, Link LinkedIn, and other social networking sites, and how they interpret the site's content. And like I said, it's very self-explanatory. Um, here you have site name, content type, page URL, title, description, image. 
same stuff as in the basic one, but uh, in this one, a bit more, bit more detailed, and it's specifically designed for social media. This is very important if you plan on having a uh, heavy um, following on uh, social media or being connected to it in one way or another. Last but not least, we have the specific one for Facebook. Um, this one is specific to Facebook. I'm not sure why I haven't looked at it, but this is uh, probably also you want something you want to have a look at if you auto connect your website or your platform to Facebook in any way or any manner. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's have a look at the uh, the result. Once this is saved, you can go to your website, right click and inspect. Go to the head section, the head tag, let's make it a bit bigger here scroll down and you can see the meta tags that we added. We have the abstract, gaming news, hardware reviews, etc. Title, Stompbox Gaming. We have the keywords and the description. On top of that we have the canonical URLs, etc. etc. Once you've done all the other meta tags, of course there will be a lot more here. You can see those as well. But this is just a nice way to get con to a nice way of confirming that the changes that you did in the actual module works as intended. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one.